Okay, I admit it. I'm a mileage snob. Given a choice, I'll take a hike that's at least eight miles long. An arbitrary number, I admit. But when it comes to the redwood forest, it's not about distance. Now take the Carl Knapp Trail, which we're about to do. It's barely three miles long, and that's plenty. The hike is less about getting between two points and more about contemplation. A meditation on beauty, longevity, and just how puny we are standing next to a 300-foot tree. The hike, located in Prairie Creek Redwood State Park, starts and ends at the park's visitor center. Directions to the trailhead are in the description. Now before you start, stop at the visitor center and grab a brochure with a map. With 75 miles of trails going every which way here, you'll need it. The trail begins just past the visitor center. Now, in case you can't find this trail on your maps, until recently it was called the Prairie Creek Trail. And then in 2021, it was renamed after Carl Knapp, who worked for the California State Parks for 38 years and started his career at the Prairie Creek State Park. Almost immediately, you're engulfed in a cathedral of thick botanical life. This primeval forest is pre-chainsaw, what's prosaically known as old growth. True, there's a wide, smooth trail meandering around the trees and other obstacles, but it's not hard to imagine you're now in the year 500. The ferns, the redwoods, the moss, the silence unabated through to the 21st century. In the morning, you might hike under a cloud cover or fog, and then, suddenly, jumping out at you, backlit branches and patches of sunlight filtering through the canopy. Change is both slow and swift here. You look up, hoping to see the tops of the trees, but can't, just too tall. It gives this woodland a feeling of aloofness. After all, this place is ancient. Its age measured in millennia, and you're only here for a few minutes. So absorb as much of it as you can. Feel how calm you become. Now, as you walk the trail, it never hurts to know what you're looking at. Yeah, you've got the sword ferns, the gobs of moss, the redwood sorrel and other plants. But really, aren't you just distracted by the sequoias? Now, there are two species of sequoias. There is the coastal redwood, which is the tallest living thing on Earth. They max out at 380 feet with an 18-foot diameter. Now, there's also the giant sequoias that live in Eastern California, and they're not quite so tall, but they get 30 feet across, which makes them the most massive thing on Earth. Age, 3,000 years. Outliving these guys by about 1,000 years. There is the practical matter of navigation. In 1.3 miles, the Carl Knapp Trail hits this junction where it continues north for less than two miles and then joins other routes. We're turning right and crossing the Newton B. Drury Parkway. This leads us to the aptly named Big Tree. One wonders if they just ran out of superlatives for this 1,500-year-old behemoth that grew to 68 feet around and 300 feet tall, and presumably, it's still headed upward. Here, you have choices. You can head north on the Foothill Trail. After a walk of about 1.5 miles to this junction, turn left, cross the road, 
and then turn left or south on the Carl Knapp Trail back to the visitor center. That option totals in the neighborhood of six miles. Or from the big tree, continue left onto the southward foothill trail, which ends at the visitor center. Or, as we're doing, take the middle junction to the Cathedral Trees Trail. I chose this because it climbs a little and is far enough off the road that you don't hear any traffic. Plus, the name intrigued me. Your first junction on this route is the unpaved Cow Barrel Road, which you cross and continue on the trail. In about a third of a mile, you'll hit the Rhododendron Trail. Turn right and continue to the parkway, cross it, and hike a minute or two to the visitor center. Now, if you like this video, would you please hit that subscribe button? I post one hike each week. And in the meantime, go into the woods no matter who you are.